My name is David Barclay, I'm the senior keeper of carnivores, primates and birds here at the Highland Wildlife Park. Now the reason we're standing here in a rather remote area of the park, tucked away behind all of the on-exhibit enclosures, is that we're actually standing just in front of our offshore enclosure for palace cats. Now palace cats is a species that we've had in the park for just over five years. And although we have bred them in the past, both in Edinburgh Zoo and here at the Highland Wildlife Park, we have seen a reduced breeding success over the last two years. And as with all species in the park, we try and make sure that we provide an area that's both natural enough but quiet enough for species to improve their breeding success. And this is exactly what we've done with the palace cats this year. We've actually brought them down here to an old enclosure that we re refurbished specifically for the species and we did have the male and the female ran together through the breeding season in January, February, but we were actually carrying out some research based on vocalizations, so we knew quite accurately that the female had been mated in mid-January, so we moved our male cat back on exhibit and we are now left with our female down in this offshore breeding area. Now because the palace cat is such a difficult species to breed in captivity, we actually took to using technology that would allow us to gain a better understanding of both their behaviour, but actually in this scenario their vocalisations. And the vocalisations of palace cats have never been mapped or analysed in detail in the captive environment before, but because of the technology we used, and in this case a dictaphone, we were able to learn a huge amount about this species through the breeding season. Now although this species is both very elusive and very quiet, it's a species in my experience I have never heard make a vocalisation in over 10 years, it is very intriguing to find out that once the staff have gone and the public are not around the park, this species is very vocal through the breeding season and in just over two months we actually managed to record just over 1400 vocalisations. These vocalisations allow us to accurately pinpoint matings and fights between the animals or when the male is calling to the female should she become receptive. And since then we've actually found that our female palace cat has fallen pregnant and about four weeks ago now produced a full litter of six kittens. And on top of the technology we use to monitor the vocalisations, we've been using night vision cameras and we've actually managed to gain some very interesting footage of these kittens as they emerge out of the nest box over the last two weeks or so. Now because we manage the European breeding programme, we don't just look at the captive environment or the captive population of this species, we also have to look at research, but also conservation measures that are happening in range countries. And over the last 18 months, both ourselves as the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland and other EEP members with the Palace Cat programme have donated money and we have sent camera traps out to Iran, Kazakhstan, Mongolia and Nepal. And these cameras will be used to gain more information and improve our understanding of a species that's very difficult uh, to investigate in the wild scenario. Now the research, conservation and captive breeding of species like the palace cat couldn't happen without the support and donations from members and visitors. And you too can get involved by either becoming a member of the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland or by supporting some of the conservation projects we carry out.